challenge. Uh, Bill Russell, this is something that he is spearheading there. If there are some of the most important figures, really, when we think of contemporary American sports, Julius Irving, Charles Barkley, and George Gervin, Reggie Jackson, and Jim Brown, uh, some very important people, and we look forward to bringing some of them to you out at Friars Head, Long Island. That's a Ben Crenshaw and Bill Corr design that's supposed to be absolutely fantastic. Very much looking forward to that. I know Wynn McMurray's going to be representing Golf Channel on site as well. Uh, how about we talk to a guy who uh, has a decision to make, and apparently today is going to be decision day. He's already won a nationwide tour event, helped represent the United States in the Walker Cup, University of Georgia product. Uh, father actually played hoops at Georgia back mm -hmm. in the 80s. He's Harris English, and we say hello and, and welcome uh, into our uh, into our show today. So I understand later today you're going to be making the announcement uh, about what your future is going to hold. What have you decided to do and, and kind of uh, why this decision now? Well, I appreciate you guys having me on this morning. Uh, I'm calling from Chattanooga, Tennessee at the Children's Hospital here. I'm glad to be back in the States from Scotland. Uh, but I will uh, be announcing I'm turning professional this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to play a couple events on the Nationwide Tour and uh, kind of kick starting my professional career. I'm pretty excited about playing on the Nationwide Tour and uh, glad I have this opportunity. You know, Harris, uh, you're getting ready to turn the page and you mentioned, you know, playing on the Nationwide Tour. You've already done so and you've won. Um, the idea of making this, to, how much easier is it with respect to your confidence level knowing that you, you've tested the waters and you achieved uh, in terms of had you not done it, had no experience in doing it, where is your mind now as opposed to where it might have been had you not even played, let alone won? I was definitely uh, honored to have some experience on Nationwide Tour. I've played three events uh, since since uh, my, my years at Georgia, and uh, it's been a really good experience for me, and uh, I'm very excited to uh, take this next step and turn professional, and uh, it's just going to be different. Uh, I really don't have that many expectations in my first couple of events. I'm just going to try to ease into it and uh, just kind of get used to the traveling and the practice rounds and the caddies and, and just playing for money. It's, it's going to be different, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm, I'm excited to get started. All right, so one of the last things you do as an amateur is play for the U.S. in the Walker Cup. We you went over there as part of a team that was heavily favored, and GB and I got the better of you over the two days. Talk to me about the conditions over there and what the experience is like. Uh, the experience is awesome. It's, it's something I'll never forget. Uh, nine, nine of my teammates, I mean, we were over there for a week and we had a blast. Uh, we bonded well and just, just had some great times together. And uh, uh, GB and I played well. I mean, they, they had a great team. Uh, I, I don't personally feel like we're that heavily favored. I mean, it is match play and uh, really anything can happen. And they were a great team. And uh, Royal Aberdeen was an awesome course. The, the conditions were really tough. And uh, just had to be mentally tough out there, and uh, we, we gave it our shot, our best shot, and uh, only lost by two points, which is pretty good. We we gave him a run that uh, that last singles match, and uh, it, it was fun. I mean, it was such a great experience for me, and uh, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I uh, had the opportunity to play the Walker Cup team, and uh, it, it was so cool. I, I, I really enjoyed that opportunity. You know, Harris, you mentioned playing the Nationwide Tour. By virtue of having a win, not to mention you're represented by a great agency that has wonderful relationships, you probably are going to have opportunity through sponsor exemption for maybe some fall series events. Will you split time between the Nationwide Tour and grabbing a sponsor exemption or two on the PGA Tour? Uh, as of right now, I've, I've committed to playing at least four events on the Nationwide Tour. I'm, I'm trying to, to make the Tour Championship, which is the top 60 on the money list, and that's, that's my goal for right now. Um, I just want to kind of ease into it and, and get some starts on the Nationwide Tour and get some reps under my belt and uh, see how it goes. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm very excited and, and happy to play on the Nationwide Tour, and that's what I'm going to do for this fall for sure. So Nationwide Tour, professional. Uh, there are a lot of guys that you've been hanging out with the last couple of weeks, whether it be the GB and I team or the U.S. team, that are eventually going to be professional. And I know there are a million guys that you could pick and say they're all going to be great, This and you're not slighting anybody, but if I said to you one guy on either team, you can buy their stock right now for what they can do as a professional, and you can't pick yourself, who would you pick and why? <laughs> well, I mean, both teams are, are awesome. They're, I, I, would, I would think 15 to 20 guys on either team are, are going to make it for sure. Uh, I had the privilege of playing alternate shot with Peter Uline, uh, two days, and he, he's an awesome player. I mean, he, he definitely knows what he's doing out there, and we played against Tom Lewis 
uh, won the first day, and uh, I was pretty amazed at how well he hit the ball and how well he managed his game. And uh, uh, it was it was just awesome to, to be around, especially the U.S. team for for those days with Patrick Cantlay, Chris Williams, Russell Henley. I mean, there were so many good players out there, and uh, it, it was good for me to to see how they played and see how they managed their golf game. And I I think a lot of the players from from both teams are going to make it big. All right, so who's the guy? You just picked right, all twenty guys. So who's the guy? <laughs> <laughs> you can pick anybody. You're not playing. I'm saying you, I say to you, give me one stock you'll buy of the guys you go. You know what? They're all going to make it, but this guy is the guy I really have a lot of confidence in. Who would you pick? Well, uh, I, I'm amazed by Patrick Cantlay. Uh, he he never gives up in match play. I mean, he, the last day he was four down, four to play, and came back and won the last four holes. I and mean, he he just never gives up, and he's very determined to get the job done. And uh, I mean, he he's had. A lot of success in the PGA Tour and in college golf, and I, I feel like he's he's going to go through the roof. All right, Harris, you're making the transition. You're, you're going to make it official later today. You already told us you're turning professional. It means you're playing for money. It means you need a, you need a place to live. You're moved to Sea Island. Now, have you spent any time with the Godfather, Davis Love III, who's <laughs> as the Godfather of the Sea Island Mafia? Have you already started getting some games up there? I have. I, I had the privilege of playing with a couple guys out at Brunswick Country Club about a week ago. I played with. Lucas Glover and Zach Johnson, which was awesome for me. Uh, playing with two major champions, I uh, learned a lot. Uh, just bouncing questions off of them, and, and, and they were very good to me. And they were giving me some tips on what I should do, what I should not do, and uh, how to play the game. And it was just awesome for me to be around those guys and to learn a lot, I and mean, that's that's what it's all about. I mean, I want to put myself in the position to, to be around some of the best players in the world, and uh, they're, they're definitely going to help me a lot, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be there to try to bounce questions off of them and learn as much from them as I can. All right, now that you're a pro, uh, Eric, we, we know this, he's got to get that Twitter, you know, total way up. So what is, I mean, you, you got to start telling people what you're doing. What is your Twitter handle? It is uh, Harris underscore English. I'm, I'm still kind of breaking into Twitter a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of shy on, on the tweets right now, but I guess I need to step it up a little bit. Uh, but it, it's, it's fun. It's, uh, we we kind of tweeted a little back and forth at the Walker Cup, and uh, it, it's fun. And, uh, hopefully I'll get back into it again. All right, if you were going to tweet about Georgia football right now, what would you say? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> uh, not a very good start to, to our season, but we're not out of it. Uh, I mean, we gave South Carolina a pretty good run. We're not out of the SEC championship race at all. We've got a good schedule coming up and I, I think if the guys really bond and, and the team comes together we could we could put up a good rest of the year and uh, hopefully make it SEC championship and play somebody like Alabama or LSU and make it to a good bowl game but uh, I think the guys are still pretty positive I've been talking to a couple of guys a little bit and uh, they, they're still positive and that's all you can do. A little more than 140 characters but we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might have to go over about five tweets right there. There you go. Well, listen, congratulations. You'll make it official later today. Uh, and good luck this first week. You already got a win on the Nationwide Tour. Look forward to chatting again. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks okay. for stopping by. Appreciate that. He wants a piece of Alabama. I hope this is a piece <laughs> It's open. And nobody's getting through on the game. talking about no, football and right. And you know who's a little bit better? Hey, Harris. Yes. Thank you very much. That was great. Well, I appreciate having me. That was, that was awesome. Well, we, we always love having you. And, uh, good luck out there, and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Well, thank you. Sounds good. Okay, man. Take care. You too. Bye. Oh, Harris.